Hello everyone, welcome to Downtown Tailoring. In today's video, I'm gonna make a gown fit like a glove to my customer by taking at the back with zipper and godet. So let's go. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. This is a very beautiful prom dress, but it's a little bit bigger for my customer. Today, we are going to take it back with the zipper and godet. I'm very excited this year as we are having a lot of prom dresses. During pandemic, not so many. The challenge to take in to this dress, besides the zipper, is the godet piece that has at the back. Because it's very important, as this is a kind of mermaid dress, you really, really want to have it very tight in the upper side area, and then the godet has to come back. So you cannot go until zero to the godet. You have to take in the whole thing and move the godet. We will need as well to shorten it. So in order to be able to work through it, I will have to remove the pins at the hem. So I'm gonna mark it so I can remove all the pins. But I think I will put back pins after I open just because I'm using today this pen and the ink evaporates by itself. So if I take too long doing the top part, I can miss the marks on the hem when I finish. First of all, I will open that label because when I take in, I will have to pass the zipper around there. So I will just put it out of the way. I will put it back after, but um, just, you know, then I will remove the hook and eye because I don't want anything in my way, of course. I usually put it in a place that I can find it, but very often I lose it anyway. And I have to do like to look for a new one, but um, don't be like me. So I'm removing my zipper and I'm trying to be very careful. Look the way they did. They put it like a, the whole thing and they fold it. I found that this way is very easy in fact but it's a little bit bulky i don't love it you know if it's there it's there but uh, i remove the whole zipper and i will set it aside because i will reuse it of course just clean it completely try to not have any thread or anything as well to complete the job to take in at the back i of course need to remove the godet I will start by removing just the tip so I can work and then after I will see what I need to do with it. You know there is one part that is on with the lining all together and I'm opening everything because I need all those pieces separate in order to do my job. So here I am working with three layers of material, two layers on the top and then one layer for the lining. So I will start with the two layers at the top. And as you know, I start always by balancing the pins. This time I pin <laughs> very at the center, so they are pretty much the same. And I pin it in a slight curve just to follow the curvature of my customers behind. Ideally, you will sew the zipper in a straight manner, but I've come to realize that not always you can do that if you want to have a really good looking garment. Now I'm passing all the marks that I did in one part to the top part and to the other part too. So I have the zipper line in four times. And I can sew the zipper, honestly, with all those bits. So unfortunately, I have to remove all the bits that are in the way. As you can see, I'm trying to be really, really careful. I'm going little by little because I'm trying to go like a around. So I do my first sewing and I will cut the excess of material. Now I'm going to sew the first layer of lining to the material, just to have them all together. And I will remove all the beads that are around the zipper. To sew the zipper today, I'm gonna use this zipper foot. 
I have another that is a little bit skinnier. So if that gives me too much hard time, I will change it. But I like this one because it holds pretty well the zipper and it produces a really, really nice result. As you can see, I'm trying to be so careful sewing that zipper. And here you go. What I'm looking for always is that the zipper aligns perfectly well with the seam line. Now I'm gonna mark the second layer of lining and I will start by checking where it has to be folded, checking with the zipper. And then from there I mark this point and then I will keep going with the straight line and then with the line that opens where the godet is supposed to be. In this case, the creators of this garment didn't insert godet in the lining. This is really common. So they just projected the line out. And this is what I'm gonna do. So I'm cutting as well the excess of the material in the lining and I'm gonna search the two pieces together but I'm gonna search one part open too. That way when it's open like that, it will be less bulky. Then it's my time to sew this lining to the zipper and I'm marking where it's supposed to go. And as you can see, it doesn't go until the end, but until the half of the zipper. And then I'm putting inside out and I'm going to pin all around. I do that before I finish the top part. I'm making sure to pin everything so anything will move. And this time I will change my foot for this skinny that will work better with what I need to do. So I'm sewing that and check this part is very important. I'm gonna fold everything where the zipper has to finish. And as you can see, I'm gonna sew the top part. And then I'm going to a sewing machine and I'm gonna sew all together at the top part. And when you flip it inside out, you are gonna get a very, very, very nice top finish. Do you remember the original one that was a little bulkier? This one is a little bit flatter and nicer. And here you go. This is what you are looking for. You want a zipper that looks good and it looks in the center seam all flat and you don't know where the seam finish and where the zipper start. This is what you are looking for when you do these kind of dresses. Now it's time for the godet. So as I told you before, when you took in, you took the whole thing and now the godet, it doesn't fit in the same place. So we have to move as well all the godet lines. So the easiest way is just to trace one straight line using a ruler until you encounter the godet. It's very important that you don't have two lines crossed together like a, you don't form a point or anything. It has to go smooth and nice. And then you are going to sew back your godet. We have a video about how to properly sew a godet, so you can check on that. I will leave the link on the description box, but basically it's very easy. You sew one side exactly until the point in the center. And then when you have that, then you have to sew the other side. And for sew the other side, you have to start just in exactly the same point. I'm cutting the excess of material, remember that I took in there. And now I'm going to sew as well the second layer of the lining. And here you go. It's all flat and nice and just doing my hem. I left that for the last. And look at that, you see how some marks have disappeared already? This is what I told you from the beginning. Huh? This is why I needed to do that. So I won't explain anything about the hem because we already have a video about how to hem a dress using the horse hair. 
I even mentioned in that video that in material like this one, it's good if you use a clear tape to finish the edges because the horse hair, when it's not really well finished, can damage the laces and all the delicate material. I'm installing the horse hair in this dress and I'm using the second method we did in the other video where we sew it and then we did a top stitch. Horse hair always will add some quality to the dress and material. This is a pulled thread that I have to fix. And this is the dress. <laughs> My customer is a little slimmer than the mannequin. <laughs> but i just wanted to show you how the dress looks and look at that on my customer body she looks amazing she said that this was on her best day so i don't know can you look better than that i don't know but she looks fantastic another job i did that i didn't mention you was to add some bustles so she can dance during her night. This job was so huge that I didn't know how to make it a little short and understandable. Please let me know in the comments if you really understood how I installed the zipper and how to finish the lining in order for it to look nice. And if you find this video useful, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe, share, comment. Bye!